All right. We are almost live, I believe. There we go. We are now live with a brand new live stream. I know I've been doing these uh, quite often lately, but today I have something extremely uh, exciting to show you guys. It's not a full set, but nonetheless, it is still a live unboxing that I want to show you guys. So uh, hopefully you guys uh, will enjoy it. Um, and because this is a surprise live stream, I'm sure there's not going to be too many people who are going to watch at this specific time. I can already see some, uh, some people coming up on the chat, though, which is cool. And uh, lots, lots of uh, goalies. And yeah, that is pretty lucky. You just opened YouTube. So, uh, But if you didn't catch the beginning, this is a surprise live stream here, and I am going to be doing an unboxing. Now, again, this is not a full set unboxing, so I know. It's probably not the, the most exciting thing in the world, but I'm still extremely excited uh, about this specific product. Um, now, I'm sure because you guys are uh, on the video and you guys can see what the name of the video is, you guys already know it is for Nutshells. And uh, Nutshells um, is a very interesting product um, where basically it's like Kevlar and carbon fiber um, uh, groin protection, so an athletic supporter of Athletic Cup. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, in talking with them, it was really interesting too that really they, you know, protection is the main thing that they kind of talk about on the website. Um, but another major component of Nutshells is just the comfort. So, uh, uh, fortunately for all of you, I'm not going to try it on today. I'm not going to try it on right in front of you. Uh, so, uh, so don't look forward to that because you're not going to see it. Uh, but nonetheless, I do have the box here. And we will do um, a live unboxing. So I got my scissors here. I'm going to try not to cut myself. Um, but let's see what it looks like. And I'm kind of excited, too, to see which one they ended up sending me. Because they have two different versions. They have one that's for uh, impact sports. And they have one that is for, like, military and law enforcement use, which is pretty cool. That's the level two. That's the one that will take a bullet. Like, I literally, you can go on, uh, go on YouTube and uh, search for like nutshells um, shot and uh, it'll probably come right up. The guy gets shot in the nuts with a 22 bullet. Um, pretty crazy. So, all right, so I can already see here. Looks like level one. Got a couple things here. So here's the box. See all the stuff they got me? There's a couple things in here. This is, uh, this is the pant or the jock that it goes in. And uh, he was telling me that when they first started selling the product, um, really you just kind of put it in your other supporter. Um, and really that was about it. But, uh, but since then, they've come up with a jock uh, that's really nice. A nice, uh, nice uh, bicycle uh, style jock. Now just from a hockey perspective, I wish that there was like the little uh, Velcro or the little clips that you can get. Um, I like to wear a bicycle uh, style uh, jock um, or supporter underneath, and it has the uh, the elastic, or not the elastic, it has uh, Velcro right here. That way I can affix my uh, socks up to it. So this one doesn't have that, but that's all right. Um, and I haven't decided yet either if I will put the, the nutshells, uh, the actual cup, inside the uh, my Reebok Pro um, goalie one, and that way I just kind of exchange them out see if they'll fit. I don't know. We'll try it out, different things. And when I do my review, I'll tell you what uh, what worked and what didn't. And uh, and I'll probably try this too, uh, it by itself. And then I might even try like with my regular bicycle style uh, jock to see, you know, does it fit in there and how does that work? Um, it's kind of an older one, but, uh, but nonetheless, I really like it. So this is really nice. This is a, this is a really nice material. Extremely comfortable. You can see it has the, uh, the athletic supporter bands inside. That way you get a, a really nice fit. And it uh, looks like it's uh, mostly made out of uh, nylon and then uh, some sort of elastic. That looks nice. It looks like the cup just kind of slides right in there. It has a little bit of Velcro on the top. That way it stays in there perfectly. Cool. And it has a few little vent holes here at the top, I guess, to, uh, to keep your junk cold during the games. So, nice thought there. All right, here's the cup. Pretty heavy. I was wondering how heavy it was going to be. 
because like you're talking about Kevlar and carbon fiber. Wow. This thing is massive. Wow. That is pretty huge. So the outside here is a uh, like a flexible, almost like rubber material. Let me see if they... Uh, so I got some flyers here that kind of tells me about the nutshells. All right, so here we go. Structural epoxy is what uh, this part is. And that makes sense. That's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's a little flexible, but it's still rigid enough that like if I got hit in just the side, I would still feel pretty protected. Like that's still a good amount of protection. Uh, vent holes here on the side, again, to, to keep your junk cold. Let some air flow to it. So that's nice. And then on the outside, you can see uh, Kevlar and carbon fiber. And then it looks like, so this is the level one, I think. Let me look. I don't know, that doesn't tell me. Nutshells level one. Yeah, so it's level one. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that on the, on the webcam or not, but it says level one right there. Uh, so this is level one. So um, if you get the level two, if you want the even higher protection, it has ultra high molecular weight polyethylene, but that's only available in level two armor. So this is uh, level one armor. Uh, this is not only massive, but you can, man, I mean, like just even feeling it, it's relatively heavy, but that's kind of what you want in uh, in groin protection. You want something that's going to be pretty stable, it's going to stay in place, it's going to be comfortable, and uh, and ultimately, and, and this is probably something that a lot of us have experienced, is sometimes it doesn't all fit in the cup, and so you're, you're kind of wondering, like, how much of this is going to actually be protected if I really get a good shot to the groin. Um, this is definitely big enough that it's going to cover it all, and, I mean, I don't know if you can hear that or not, but that is solid. But it's Kevlar and carbon fiber, so of course it's going to be. And then uh, made in the USA, so that's nice. I don't know if you can see that up here. Made in the USA. It's a nice little uh, little tidbit as well. All right, let's see if there's anything else here. Got some flyers. Got some business cards here. It's nice, but got a couple things here. I'm really excited about uh, about using this. Um, let's see how easy it is to stick inside the, uh, the shorts. And of course, like I said, I'm not going to put them on right now. Oh man, that just went right in. Sometimes you get these bicycle, uh, style short jocks and it takes you like 10 minutes to get it in there. That's nice. That'd be really good. And I'm kind of excited, you know, like I said before, I kind of want to try, you know, just inserting it right in the goalie cup too. I wonder if I can do that really quick. Let me see if I can show you guys. All right, so here's here's my Reebok Pro goalie cup here, and um, it's funny enough, I've never actually taken it out. I've never even opened that piece of Velcro before. All right, so here's here. This is apparently what is inside my uh, my Reebok Pro cup, and then here's the nutshells next to it. You can see there is a sizable difference, and uh, and even though the nutshells doesn't have you know the holes in the front for obvious reasons, uh, you can see that the Reebok does. Uh, but we have the vent holes on the side, which is nice. And then uh, let me see if it fits in this, because that'd be that'd be really neat. Like I still want to try it in the bicycle short because ultimately that's what you're supposed to do. But it would be really cool if it fits right in the goalie jock that I'm used to already, and then I can try that in the setup first. So it just kind of slides on in there. Now the Reebok jock has uh, a little bit of foam padding on the front here. And then, all right, it fits. Beautiful. All right, well, that's wonderful. Because I, to be perfectly honest, I wasn't really expecting it to fit um, and not fit so well. Uh, so we can throw that away for the moment. Not really interested in uh, keeping that around. So I'm I'm really excited about using this. I know it. Uh, 
again, it's it's kind of like anticlimactic because I know that you guys probably want like an unboxing of like a huge set or something, but this is really exciting. Additional protection for the groin. Um, extremely important for all of us. And it's kind of interesting, you know, a, a lot of people are like, hey, what, what would you spend the money on, you know, in, in terms of like what gear? And it's like, well, you know, first, you need a really good mask. You don't want concussions. You don't want head injuries, brain injuries, stuff like that. Um, but... Uh, the other thing that you really need is a really good jock because um, all it really takes is one shot to the groin and you have major issues. Uh, one really cool thing too about the, uh, the nutshells is that it is used by pro athletes already, um, including uh, some hockey players. And I can't remember what their names are off the top of my head. Let's see if I can look. Connor Knapp, I believe he's in the, uh, in the uh, Philadelphia Flyers uh, Farm system, if I remember correctly. Uh, but then we got uh, Travis Turnbull. Uh, he was in the NHL. And then we got some uh, MMA fighters, MLB players. So it's already being used by pro athletes, which is pretty cool. Um, and I'm betting they're using the level one, which is the one that I have here. So that's cool. This is awesome. All right. Let me see if you guys have any uh, quick questions. I can hear some screaming upstairs, so I'm going to have to wrap up the video pretty quickly. All right, so uh, Sweden, it looks like it's lagging. That's all right. You'll still get the info. Um, yes, so NHL, uh, the guy gets shot. It's the level two. It's not the level one, but the guy gets shot by a 22 bullet, and it protects him. Um, it's a pretty incredible video. I watched it uh, last night. Pretty cool. Um, and then uh, Sweden, you use an old Bauer, black and gray. Not as much protection as you'd like. Well... Maybe this is an opportunity. If you replace the cup inside the one that you like, it's nice and comfy, but now you'll have the protection of uh, the Nutshell's cup. So that'd be pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, we have a lot of watchers here, but really this is just an unboxing video, and I haven't used it yet, clearly. Um, so, you know, I can't really tell you guys much about it, but, uh, but you can see that I already have it installed in my, uh, my Reebok Pro Jock. And then eventually I will, I'll try the Nutshell's uh, pant as well. Uh, just to see if it works. Um, I might have to uh, to figure out what I'm going to do with my socks then. Uh, but we'll see. But anyways, um, I hope uh, I hope that was at least somewhat informational for you guys and that you guys are looking forward to uh, a future review of those. So that's going to be pretty cool. If you guys have any comments or questions uh, or anything like that, let me know. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry for the short video, but it was a ton of fun. Um, and, uh, and we'll do some more unboxing videos in the near future. I have a lot coming up, and it's really exciting. So good luck. I will see you all out on the ice. See ya.